rhythmic snail or hoop underscore snail on Instagram. We're going to be going through an eight part combo today. It includes the vertical ghosting isolation, the Z spin, this little isolation to the back and slide down an escalator up, catching behind and above your head, a forward weave, vertical shoulder breaks, and waist hooping. I'll go through each step, adding one on as we go, and then at the end I will show you some variations and ways to do it on the other side, if you have a different preference. So starting with the vertical ghosting isolation. I use my left hand as the mover on the way up and my right hand as the mover on the way down. So my right hand is ghosting, my left hand is moving. And then my left hand is ghosting, my right hand is moving. At the bottom, I do a little swing out away from my body. My palm is still facing backwards. And then I swing in and up to do my Z spin. When you get to the top of your Z spin, that's when you flip once, flip again, and come back down. With the momentum, it looks like this. And there's our Z-spin. So we'll go back to the beginning. We have palms facing backwards, ghosting isolation up and down. You can do it as many times as you want until you do a little swing out, wind up for your Z-spin, as many Z-spins as you want. When you're finished with your Z-spin, break and go the other direction. When you get out to the side like this, you're going to let the momentum of the hoop flip it over your wrist while your arm is straight. When it can't go any farther, you're going to bend your elbow and you're going to follow your hand along the top of the tubing to bring it above your head. So we'll back up to here. We finish our Z spin. We reverse directions. When our arm is straight, we let the hoop flip over the back and our wrist bends up. When you can't go any farther, bend your elbow so your hand can follow the tubing up to the top 12 o'clock above your head. Now my hoop is against my back and I'm going to pull my hand down the center of my body while the back of the hoop slides down the back of my legs, keeping this nice plane that looks the same for the audience all the way down. It's not flipping or turning. It's a nice flat round hoop plane. When it gets down to around my ankles, I'm going to turn my wrist out, flip the hoop to the side, palm is now facing forward, and my free hand can do a little flurry on top. Then I'm going to push the hoop up toward the left side of my rib area and do a upward escalator catching on top. From here we're going to back up a couple steps to the beginning and put it all together. So we have our vertical ghosting isolation. Let go with one hand, do a little wind up into your Z spin. Reverse the direction again. Let the hoop flip and follow the tubing up to the top. Slide it down your legs, pulling it down the center of your body. Flip out. I'm going to push my hoop diagonally up. So my arm goes up like this to make my upward escalator and I catch up here. From here, I'm gonna choose to turn to my right while my hand is above my head, which puts me in a perfect position to go into a forward weave. When I get back to that position again, where the hoop's on the right side of my body and my hand is up, kind of in this serving a pizza platter position, I'm going to bring the hoop over my head into the front and I'm going to go into this earth angle so I can start my shoulder breaks. Your first break can be pulling the hoop like this or you can reposition your hands to put them on the outside and give your first break a nice outer push like this. So we're going to push to our opposite shoulder up and over, up and over, up and over catch, up and over catch, up and over catch. You can add some double spin, spin, catch, spin, spin, catch, spin, spin, catch, spin, spin, catch, spin, spin, catch. 
I'm going to stop when it, the hoop is in my right hand. I'm going to pull this left hand up through the hoop and grab the tubing from the top. Then I'm going to do a little spin to the left, since I hoop to the left, put the hoop on my back and push off into waist tubing. Here you can jam, you can get into the music, you can bring it up to the chest or shoulders, you can bring it down to your legs, you can stay here as long as you want, and add your dance elements. All right, let's start from the middle. We're gonna go to this weave where we're facing the right side, the hoop is in our right hand, and we're gonna forward weave. We're gonna stop when that hoop is open on our right side again with the hand up in the serving pizza platter position. We're gonna bring it up and over our head and lean forward, bringing this into a nice earth angle. My hoop is at about a 45 degree angle and making sure that my abs are lifted, my back is supported, I can lunge a little bit, I'm not hunched over or uh, straining my lower back like that. Nice supported position. We're gonna do break, 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 however many you want. When it's in your right hand, bring your left arm up and through, grab the top of the hoop, turn, place it on your back, and give it a nice spin into waist tubing. Let's do the whole thing, and then we'll go back and I'll show you some places where you can change it up or add your own variations. So, we're ready for our vertical isolation. We go up and down however many times we want. We give it a little wind up out, and we come in for our Z spin. Switch directions, let it fall over the back, and bring your hand up to 12 o'clock, slide down the middle, open, escalator up, weave, fold over the front, push across your chest into breaks, bring the arm through, and spin off into waist hooping. So let's see if you wanted to do some other hands, if you're left dominant, or if you spin to the right, here are some other options. So I'm gonna start with a right hand grip and a left hand ghost, the opposite of what I did before. You can really choose whichever hands you want to be your ghost, as long as you make it nice and even. Now I'm going to swing out to the left because I want to do my Z spins with the left this time. I'm going to bring my hoop in, up and around. I'm going to switch directions, push my left arm out to the side, let it break and isolate it up to the top of my head. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to step out with my right foot and flip the hoop out to my left side. Here's my escalator on the left, catching with the left hand. I'm gonna turn my body to the left, go into a weave. When my weave is behind me again, I'm gonna pull it over my head into this position. I'm gonna push into my shoulder breaks. When my hoop is breaking on the left, I'm gonna pull my right arm over. I'm going to grab the top of the hoop. I'm gonna to turn to the right and give a nice spin off right direction hooping. 
I'm going to do it one more time starting with my left side, but I'm not going to say which direction I'm going because you might want to use this as a mirror if you're a right hand person. So this is starting with my left or if you're mirroring me, you might start with your right. do it the first direction we did. In case anyone left dominant is mirroring me, I'm starting on my right. You might start on your left if you're mirroring. I'll do the combo one more time on each side facing the back so you can follow me as if I were in front of you. Here's my right side combo facing the back. Here's my left side combo facing the back. Here's a couple places where you can switch hands in the middle. After my vertical ghosting isolation and my right hand Z spin, I could switch hands at the top of this uh, slide down and I could open to the left so I have the chance to do a left escalator with left hand catch. If I stay in my right hand for the escalator, I could also catch at the top open the hoop as I turn to my left and do my right hand weave small facing the left. In this case, I might stop the hoop again on my right side of my body just like before, but that flip over my head will be from front to back as I lean forward into this position. When you're in the brakes, you could choose to stop on your left side or your right side, depending on which hand you'd like to put in to do your little spin to the back. And whichever hand you choose, you could choose to spin in the same direction that you caught it, or you could choose to do a little break and spin in the opposite direction from where you caught it. I hope you like this combo and feel free to add your own variations to it to enjoy a new way of moving. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions about any of the moves in here, feel free to send me a message and I can make some extra tutorials or guide you to another Hooper who's made a tutorial on it before.